guys, welcome to the video. I hope you all are well. Today, guys, we're on Diablo 3 PTR 2.72. And, uh, yeah, guys, we've got these new soul shards, which are pretty cool. Look at these new, new graphic when they drop on the floor. Doesn't it look cool? You can see all the souls spilling out, man. So, yeah, guys, come over to PTR and definitely test this out. Uh, what do these soul shards do, guys? Basically, they've got loads of different effects, okay? So, um, you can see here, they level up to rank 3, which is pretty sweet. And then basically, you get this new consumable called Hellforge Embers. You just right click on these, click on the gem, it upgrades you to up to level three. Also guys, you can actually use these as orgs as well. I believe a top tier three gives you 125 orgment on your gear, which is mad, which is really crazy. So uh, it's pretty sweet. So let's have a quick look there guys. So we've got the Shard of Hatred, uh, Sliver of Terror, and the Fragment of Destruction. These sock it into your helmets, okay? These three here. You can only have one of each, by the way, guys. You can only have one major and one lesser. Okay. Then we've got the stain of sin, the essence of anguish, the remnant of pain, and the drink of lies. Let's just quickly look at what they can do on base level. Okay, shrub hatred, guys. You deal 50% in reduced damage while you have three or fewer enemies within 25 yards. If uh, more than three enemies within the same distance, you deal 10% increased damage per enemy up to a maximum of 100%. Because that, that's its baseline ability on this one. On the Sliver of Terror, your cooldowns are increased by 25%. For every skill on cooldown, you take 12.5% reduced damage and deal 75% increased damage. And then a Fragment of Destruction. Uh, you move unhindered through enemies. Each enemy you pass through will be marked by destruction for 7 seconds. Each marked enemy that dies removes 1 second from your skills on cooldown. Uh, if the marked destruction expires before the enemy dies, you lose 2% of your maximum health as damage. Marks are not applied if you are below 35% health. Pretty cool. Uh, Stain of Sin. Okay, so weapons and sockets, uh, you deal 25% less damage. When you kill an elite enemy, you spawn a pool of blood that increases the damage of non-elite enemies and receive 250% in the last 7 seconds. Pool of blood, is that uh, Asmodan? <laughs> uh, Essence of Anguish, that's got to be Andari, wasn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, every time you deal poison damage to an enemy, you increase your cooldown reduction, movement speed, and damage received by 5% for 10 seconds, maximum of 10 stacks. And then Remnant of Pain, your critical chances to reduce by 15%. Attacks against incapacitated enemies are automatically critical hits. And then Spawn of Dragon Lies, reduce the damage of enemies hit by 33% for 5 seconds. And damage you deal is reduced by 50%. So that's the very baseline what they actually do, yeah? So I've already leveled up a few here, guys, to Tier 3. So you can see this one here. It's got a bunch of stats. Intelligence, life percent, cooldown, resource cost, extra gold... 45% experience as well. 4.5 at level 70. Your movement speed is increased by 50%. Each enemy within 25 yards reduces your movement speed by 10% up to 70%. You do 15% reduced damage while you have three or few enemies within 25 yards. That's the baseline. Then we look at the next one down here that I upgraded. And you notice these stats vary. At the moment, you can't press the key to show the stats ranges at the moment because it's PTR. But you can see that they actually roll as different stuff. Like this one here has killed elite enemy pulls all enemies within 40 yards to where the elite died you know that's actually quite nice you know so you just kill the elite and if it gets pulled in you can just wreck it so they actually rolled random effects as well so uh it's quite interesting like, like this one here sliver of terror this one's got strength life percent cdr resource rewards course uh we've got extra gold xp again three more skills caught down your lightning and fire skills damage are increased by 50 percent 50 percent fire damage on fire and lightning man that's crazy man they go down this one this one's completely different like your attack speed and critical hit charts are increased by seven percent for each skill on cooldown you know so there's a lot of different random i wonder you know, obviously there'd be a finite amount of effects on these man so it's be interesting to uh upgrade these and see what all the different effects we can get and basically make a build around this like this one here uh you leave a trail fire in your wake that slays enemies with the mark of destruction that are below 10 percent hive you know that's pretty sweet and then this one is completely different <laughs> You know, so it's, it's quite nice, man. There's quite a lot of different effects. Like this one here has got like cold skills here, 55%. And this one's got holy, and you know. So um, it's interesting now uh, you can do this different stuff with this, man. Like this one here has got average damage, attack speed crit, elite damage as well. We're dropping this one here. This one's actually got average damage and percent damage as well. So it's going to take a while to get one that's really good, you know. Like this one here has got, even got arcane damage here by 50%. So there's some really interesting effects you can do with this as well. Very, very nice, man. All right, guys, so uh, let's upgrade one of these to tier two, yeah? So let me just take this feather out here. 
new consumable. There you go, it's a tier one now. It's tier one now. It's got these extra stats. I'm gonna bring it up to tier three. Tier two even, sorry. There we go. Three hundred and twenty-five yards, and once again, and bang. There we go. Now we got a fully unlocked one. Let's bring it up to the other ones here. See what the, how much difference it is. This one's got intel. This one's got dex. This one's got life, percent, and armor. With gold, it's got the XP there again. So yeah, it's quite nice how they different all vary, guys, as well. Let's try the augment ability as well. I haven't tried it yet. Let's quickly try it. Let's go augment a piece of gear, guys. With cannon despair. Now, apparently. It's, um, let's do my weapon, yeah? Apparently it's 125 org. Oh my god. <laughs> 125 org, guys, for a tier 3. So all these new gems and stuff, uh, they just drop random in the game, but mostly off bosses, I believe. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you've got a tier 3 gem, you can uh, go bang and get yourself 125 cannons of spare, man. I I'm not sure how often these this resource here will drop on uh, on live gameplay because right now on ptr it's all like very very fast drop rate sort of thing but um yeah you can get to power much much quicker quicker guys with this sort of thing but and also guys if you break them down you actually get resources as well man so i haven't broken down a bunch man let's pick up these fellas here there we go all right let's break these down at the forge let's see what they get bang okay we just got three imperial amethysts let's do this one here Amethyst again. This time we've got green. More. Alright, so it looks like we just get random gems. Which is actually kind of handy. Oh, look at that. A flawless. We actually got a flawless royal diamond, man. That's pretty good. So yeah, Imperials and flawless, guys. That's nice. So you get out so if you've got any uh, extra access, man, you can just blow these up and uh, set them out. But yeah, guys, this will allow for some really cool interactions with the builds in the game, man. Yeah, obviously it's more power creep, but it's D3. It's supposed to be these days. <laughs> but it should be pretty fun. And the new effects look very, very cool. Well, very, very cool. So yeah, guys, definitely jump onto PTR, man, and test this out. Loving the uh, the soul effect that goes out of this thing. And also, it's, guys, it's also got a new minimap icon as well. I've actually kept a bag. So I can pop it here on the map. Let's drop it right here. This is a cheap bag from the PTR vendor, so, which just gives us all the stuff straight away. And uh, let me just clean this up a little bit, so we can see on the map a little bit easier. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. There you go, you see that's a little red crystal on the map. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It looks pretty good. Let me just pick up a bunch of stuff so we can see it properly. Map. Da -da -da -da. There we go, you can see it there. Oh, look cool. <laughs> there it is guys so uh, there's the brand new uh, little mini map icon there as well man little soul shard man little soul shard yeah guys it should be quite fun man it should be quite fun and uh, yeah we see what we can do with this system remember guys this is PTR so you know all, all this stuff can change yeah all the effects we are currently seeing all this sort of stuff you know, there's bound to be something really crazy OP that's going to be re rebalanced, man. But uh, right now on my uh, Arakia Witch Dots, guys, which, by the way, Arakia got changed. And um, it's actually quite good at the moment. It does need more damage buff. And currently I'm using uh, an Anguish one here on my weapon because it's giving me an extra 65 fire damage on it. And also when you deal poison damage to an enemy, they receive 50% increased poison damage from all sorts for 10 seconds. And then every time you deal poison damage to an enemy, increase your cooldown reduction movement speed and damage received by 5% for 10 seconds maximum tech stack so that's pretty cool and I'm currently using as a, just as a test about the sliver of terror all those cool stats as well man I really like this one actually because uh, if look, look you read it say look if you've got three or more skills on cooldown your lightning and fire skill damage is increased by 50% that's crazy you know and this build is, what I'm playing now is actually a test fire spider build man so that's really really nice and also your cooldowns are increased by 25 percent for every skill on cooldown you take 12.5 percent reduced damage and deal an extra 75 percent increased damage man so it's pretty good and also we've got access to the shakur and guns triumph guys gives us more damage as well so uh, i'm gonna be live guys on d3 here on twitch in just a moment after this, i've uploaded this video now, probably probably most for the weekend as well to test this out man, and uh see what combinations we can come up with guys with all these new soul shards man love it all right guys so give it a go uh guys thanks so much for watching the video i'll see you the next one take care have fun in sanctuary happy testing on ptr for d3 man soul shards baby interesting